My name's Rob Fisher. I work in enterprise engineer at Vodafone. I started in a call centre. Um, I wanted to get a career in IT, so I found that Vodafone are a very good supporter of career development. I uh, got a job in the call centre um, and then slowly moved my way through the company. Talk to me about you know your priorities at Vodafone at the moment, and just yeah, talk, talk, talk me through some of the priorities that you're working on. Yeah, so we've got some platforms that are very old, some legacy infrastructure, as do all uh, large companies that have, that have been around for a long time. Um, and some of the challenges are moving away from some of that heavy on-premise infrastructure, modernising the applications, and then bringing them into the modern cloud-based ways of working. So we've got a feasibility and pricing platform. What feasibility does, if you think about home broadband and you want to check what speed you can get at a premise, our feasibility platform for enterprise customers is, is much larger, so it allows us to see how much of the road we can dig up. Do we already have the connectivity? Do we need to build the connectivity? And then respond with a price. Um, and so we needed to move one of those applications from an old on-premise database to a more modern way of working. The database that we had had a lot of complex logic in it, and that logic was slowing down the system. If the customer is sitting there waiting 20 seconds for a response to come back, they may just choose somebody else. Um, and so we decided that we'd use MongoDB. MongoDB, uh, been talking to them for a while, and we were looking for a good use case to, uh, to, to bring in the MongoDB Atlas service, uh, and this looked like a perfect opportunity, so we, that's where we, the two came together, and so we've, we've ended up with a cloud-based AWS service connected to MongoDB, then connecting back down into on-prem infrastructure to, to do other things. We've brought the, the performance down to sub one second at times, so response times, and that's to do all of the processing and then respond back, uh, which is fantastic. Um, MongoDB have supported us all the way through. It's really difficult when you start to move from one traditional cell database to a new you know, sort of SaaS service. Um, and Mongo have been fantastic. They've worked with us. They've helped us train some of our DBAs. They've helped me to train some of my team. Our developers have picked up MongoDB really quickly. We've got some apprentices in the team and some graduates. Um, and they've really picked up Mongo so quick. There's hundreds of projects always happening at Vodafone. Using MongoDB in, in our area has enabled us to start to look at you know, what benefits did we get. We know that we're getting time-based benefits from, from response times. We also know that we're getting uh, efficiencies within because we don't have to deploy over weekends anymore. So we're saving money that we can invest further into other areas. And that gives us a chance to look at all of those other projects and say, where else can we use MongoDB? And so it's been really good. The journey has been good and it's been a great growing experience for our developers to be able to learn new tech. Developers are always wanting to thrive. Um, and in this instance, they've been able to do that.